hey again everyone. I have something that I've actually been pretty excited about. This is the Cooking Panda Mystery Box. Um, if you check out their website, it is $49.95. <clears throat> they call it $150 value. Literally 20 pounds. This thing was huge. And it didn't necessarily have the nicest ride in the old UPS truck. There's plenty of black film all over it. Look, I mean, literally, I just got some out on my finger. It's great. Some, some of the stuffing is <laughs> coming out of the side. Oh, this box should be a cool box to open, though. Um, essentially, they call it like a food enthusiast's box. New food, you know, different things to try out. Um, so I was very interested in it. You know, I used to cook for a living years ago and I, I enjoy this kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and oh, try and open her up. Get all this uh, tape off here. See if they, okay. looks like just that. Oh. This is a, a weird one to manipulate on this table. Oh. Oh, God, okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's packed. It's like going to the grocery store. This is insane. What's this? I don't even know. It's just like a... Uh, is this all the, like, cards for all this stuff, maybe? Learn about our brands. Yeah, I guess this is, like, cards and whatnot for... Different thing. Uh, That's something I'll have to look at probably later, I would assume. I don't even know how to start this. Now, I would like to be able to try everything in the box, but realistically, that's pretty impossible. So, this is just kind of going to be a show and tell type of deal. And um, yeah, we'll just, you know, <laughs> we'll just go. Oh, uh, six pickle flavored freeze pops. I'm not interested in this so much. I'm not a huge pickle person. Never, well, I was when I was a kid, but for some reason just never, um, never really stuck on there. But I did see on the card, like for a Bloody Mary, so I might be able to actually pawn these off on somebody who would like them. I know a few pickle eaters. Oh, uh, let's see, Old Dominion dipped peanuts. So just chocolate covered peanuts. That's right up my alley. Uh, we have, Two packages here, uh, Tamara Teriyaki, Moochie, I guess, is it maybe the brand name. Uh, so yeah, little crunchy snacks there. I love the crunchy. Uh, let's see, seasoning packet, complete seasoning. Uh, darn thing wants to focus on everything in this box, it's great. So yeah, a little bit of everything. So general all-purpose kind of seasoning thing, packet. <clears throat> Black pepper fava beans, okay. I've had fava beans before, so these are like crunchy favas. Okay, that, that might be interesting, I don't know. Uh, Saffron Road lemongrass basil simmer sauce. I've, uh, I've used some of the packaged simmering sauces here and there. Uh, they can be interesting if they're good. Uh, some more of the moochie, uh, I'm going to call them moochie. So rice bites, little snackies. I love snack items. Okay. I've had these before. Uh, Annie Chun's, uh, udon noodles. So this is just, you know, like a packet of pre-done noodles that you can use up, but I, I love udon. This is, that's good. That'll be a good one. Uh, looks like we, uh, we have some sauces in here. <laughs> I love hoisin. Uh, so kind of like, uh, you know, it's like an Asian barbecue sauce. So that's actually really good. I haven't had that in a while. That's a, that's actually a good one. And then uh, some Korean barbecue sauce from J Basket. Moise down for that. <clears throat> Is this olive oil? Oh, wow. So first harvest, uh, star first harvest, uh, extra virgin olive oil. Just had to buy some olive oil. So there's a little packet of that. Okay, broccoli beef sauce. I love beef and broccoli. That that should be good. God, this is this is 
literally like going to the store. Uh, <laughs> oat milk. Now, I don't really do a lot of milk. Um, oat milk is fine. It's a good alternative. A lot of people go for oat, oat milk as an alternative, you know, dairy-free. So that should be interesting. I'll use it. I mean, I'll definitely use it. We've got some more, some more moochies, some more rice bites, some sriracha flavored. Oh man. Uh, ooh, okay. Well, you know, we were winning, but I hate olives. I hate olives. They're gross. I can give those to my dad. He'd eat them. <laughs> ah, wow, wow, wow. Hot chocolate drink tablets. Oh my goodness, this looks awesome. Wow, this is cool. I love hot chocolate. I'm a little kid sometimes, it's fine. I'm a little overwhelmed, it's crazy. Uh, Sonoma Creamery Pepper Jack Cheese. Excellent, right up my alley. Love cheese. Uh, let's see, oh my God, look at this. It's an entire package of almond butter. Now you know I love almonds, and I love, I'll eat almond butter. Um, I put it in uh, protein shakes quite a bit. Uh, here we go, Rufus Teague's. So I love Rufus Teague's hot sauce. They do uh, like a bourbon hot sauce, it's really good. So, but they, they come in like, uh, you know, little glass bottles. So these are like some individual packets, honey sweet and touch of heat. I've had both of those, they are very good. Oh, we have drinks. <laughs> Milkus, <laughs> strawberry, some sort of strawberry drink. A little can of that. I'll, I'll try anything. I, well, not anything, most stuff. <laughs> uh, another from the Sonoma Creamery. We have Parmesan. God, I, we're probably going to have to put these in like the midweek snack bracket because those, those sound really good. Uh, we get a couple of bars here. Looks like they're, oh, they're Red Mill. Interesting, because I, uh, I've, I've, I have cooked uh, gluten-free for people before. Bob's Red Mill does have a lot of different uh, flours and stuff, that alternate stuff. So we've got some peanut butter, chocolate, and oat bars. Again, we can put one of those in the midweek snack roundup. Those sound very good. All the flavors I like. <laughs> what crate mix that is too cool it's an entire bag of crate mix i guess i have to eat breakfast that is that is really really cool all of this stuff or i feel like if i went and bought all this stuff like individually i'd pay like just a buttload of money this is this, ah, this is so cool i love it I love it to death. <laughs> That's fun. Some little hand sanitizer, sprayable hand sanitizer. It's good. We all know what we're going through nowadays. <clears throat> Vegiful veggie bowl. Roasted red pepper with quinoa. Ah, okay. Yeah, I've seen this kind of stuff before. That might be interesting. I mean, I'll eat it, uh, you know. I, I'm not a vegetarian, I'm not a vegan, I'm definitely a meat eater, but I have no problem trying that sort of stuff. Uh, let's see. Beer salt. Beer salt. So we actually p talking about like, yeah, okay. Oh, so it's rim salt. So, well, to a bottle of beer, I mean, for like a margarita, okay. My dad, um, you know, we'd go out to dinner sometimes when we were kids, and he would add uh, a touch of salt to his beer. I never asked him why he did that. I'm going to have to ask him why he did that. I think it was just, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know why he did that. I wouldn't do it, but that's just him. Uh, let's see here. Michelada cocktail mix. Just add to beer. I'll try it. I'll try it. You have something in some bubble wrap. Oh, it's not gonna... I've lost my knife under the pile of things. <laughs> Zgi. 
Oh my goodness, come on. <clears throat> yep, ghee, okay. So, you know, ghee is basically just clarified butter. I mean, it actually says it right there. Um, it's fine. Butter, ghee, it's all good. It definitely works. I'll use it. There's still more stuff in here. This is like, it's a lot. Uh, Don Francisco's coffee. Uh, ooh, pods. Well, I might have to pawn these off because I do not have like a K-cup sort of thing. Um, I just don't use that. I like the making of coffee and this isn't exactly what I normally do, but I, I'm pretty sure I can pawn this off on maybe my brother. My, I think my brother has one, so he might, he might enjoy that. He's a coffee guy. You've probably seen him on the channel. <laughs> I was just thinking about this not too long ago. Cheddar Bay Biscuits, Red Lobster, the fond memories of thinking it was fancy and realizing it really wasn't. Um, yeah, Cheddar Bay Biscuits, really good. And you can get that mix um, a lot of different places. Heck, even some of the bargain stores make uh, <clears throat> like their own brand. Margaret Cookie. What are these? Some sort of like a, is it just a sugar cookie? I don't know, but they're little cookies. I was never a baker, and I'm not much of a baker still. I will bake, and sometimes I'll make cookies, but they're not always great. I'm down. I like sweet things, too. <laughs> this, this got a little crushed. <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, dream cake. Focus, buddy. Focus for me, camera. It's like I'm giving the camera a pep talk. Premium pie with fresh cream. That sounds excellent. I'm down with that 100%. So, dang, guys. I, I, don't, I don't even know. I don't know how best to describe this. There is so much stuff. Um, the, <laughs> it's, it, it's just, it's taking over my entire table here. Just just like get get it all just get it all in frame just oh. <laughs> it's like uh yeah it's like i went to the store and just got a bunch of bunch of crazy stuff you know i i was like <laughs> i just got paid today brother so i'm going to go ahead and just go a little hog wild this is cool this is so cool um I'm looking forward to trying a lot of this stuff, but tell me what you think. What do you think of this box? Um, I have always been very interested in trying different things when I can, and there is so much in here. I don't know what it's like. There are a couple things I know about, um, but there, there, there's so much in here that I'm just, I'm, I'm really excited to get into, and I could easily see myself doing this box again. Like 45 bucks, like we talked about, is not bad. I guarantee, I, I don't know, I don't think I could get all this stuff for $45. I feel like it would definitely cost more than that. So, again, cookingpanda.com. If you want to check it out, get yourself a cool little food box, um, do it. Because I, <laughs> I might actually do this again, unless every comment says, no, don't do it. But I will probably do this one more time, at least, just to... Just get some more more stuff, because this is, there are things in here that I wouldn't typically buy. They're just, well, like ghee. You know, ghee. I'm not going to buy ghee because I just butter. Uh, but that's cool. Some of these snacks, I, I don't even think they're around here. Like, there's a lot of stuff here I wouldn't necessarily buy, but, well, oat milk. I'm going <laughs> to be using oat milk. So, it's, it's really neat. Um, but again, hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know in the comments like what you thought of this. Did you like it? Did you dislike it? You think I should do it again? You think I should never do it again? Um, but regardless, hopefully you guys had a good time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. By the way, definitely appreciate all those who have. We're really marching 
uh, towards about 4,000 at this point. So looking forward to that once we get there. But at any rate, you guys have a great rest of your day. See ya. Hey, you. Yeah, you. If you're still watching this video, which you totally should, I actually found two more things hidden in the, <laughs> the, the mix down there. So I, I, I just, just wanted to show them to you, I, I guess. Uh, it's, it, it's Chuck, will you stop it? I have to talk to this camera real feistily. Chalk Zero, like a little peanut butter cup chocolate thing. And Paloma Love, also a, a rim salt. So apparently they want me to eat, drink, and be merry. Anyway, those were additions. Goodbye for real this time. See ya.